Hello, 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 hello. Wherever you are on our mysterious planet called Earth, I hope you are having a phenomenal day, evening, or night, wherever you are located. As you can clearly see, I'm in my favorite 3D application, even if it wasn't free. If it was a reasonable price, I think I would, I would have purchased it. But I'm in the 3D program, Blender. The world-renowned 3D program applications that is mentioned with the big boys. 3DX Max, Houdini, Maya, Cinema 4D. Even though it's open source, it's a privilege to be named within the top five 3D applications. Now, my topic for the day is to cover uh, deleting surfaces, edges, or vertices. But in this case, I'm really going to deal with deleting faces. And when I mean deleting those stubborn faces, when you first get into Blender, any mesh that it comes with default, such as Harold the Cube, it's easy to delete their faces, vertices, edges. It's easy. I'm going to give an example. I'm going to edit. Uh, edit mode. I'm going to click on face. Click on the face. Hit X. And I can easily delete it. I'm going to do it again. Click on the face. X. Now, I discovered my good people. It's not so easy to delete faces when you have your own mesh that you have been manipulated. It's easy, as I said, to delete the faces of uh, the typical mesh that blenders provide. But what happens when you start making your own uh, constructs? Your own unique special objects. As I discovered today, sometimes Blender, may I not insult it, but this probably occur in every 3D applications. Then sometimes it becomes stubborn when deleting a face. And I'm going to give an example of that. Yes, the day I discovered it was hard to delete my faces now this is not the mesh that i was working on it's more complicated than this but it's just a demonstration now i wanted to delete this face right here but it still stayed i could not delete it i went back again now it disappeared but it only disappeared because my good people because i did i i made a bunch of copies of it like i'm gonna do it again I made a bunch of copies of it, so, but when I wanted to delete it, you know, something that you was hard working on, and you need to get one of them faces, when you can't get one of them faces, you think, oh my God, what's wrong? Then I clicked on another face, like this, for instance, and I was, de I, I was able to delete other faces, so that means I did not hit the uh, Alt D, I did not hit Shift D. I did not duplicate anything. So, Blender or, or probably any all, all the other three applications will sometimes duplicate objects for you and make it hard to delete a face. Let me do that again. Let me do that again. Do it again. Do it again. Like I said before, I was able to delete these type of faces. So that means I didn't make no mistake. But when I went to this face right here, for example, I had that, it was, it stayed there. But I discovered why. I'm gonna show you why. I'm hit Control Z and put everything back. And this may save you a lot of time. I was spending hours trying to delete that face over and over, which never, Got deleted like I didn't get delete now. I click this face, hit it again, 
hit X, it would not, it would not delete. But I discovered why. I discovered why, and I'm gonna show you why. In case you ever come across a stubborn face that refused to leave. Now, I'm gonna show you. And the reason it, it will not delete easily because the 3D application has made a duplicate uh, error in the system probably because you know it's advanced software, but they made a duplicate of it and you didn't know about it. So when you try to delete it like I did, I was trying to delete duplicates, but in this case, it was a bunch of duplicates. But then the idea came to me since I'm familiar with Blender. I was using it for, since version 2.76, so I am familiar with it. I discovered how to get rid of it. Or how to get rid of that face easy. I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to hit G. See, it's duplicated. If I hit X, face, it's, it won't. It's still there. But I'm going to show you how I discovered how to get rid of those faces. It involved the cleanup utility. Or in the past when the version was called mer ver merge vertices. If you remember, in the past version of Blender, when we merged the vertices, we were just doing it so we can make a good uh, mesh so we can use an armature. That's all we use. That's all we use merge vertices for. Or what I knew about it. Just to merge extra vertices to make my armature animated. But I discovered today it get rid of those irritating duplicates. Like the duplicate. Let me move it. Like it's a duplicate right there. And it won't. I'm going to hit X again. And it won't easily disappear. But I'm going to show you how. First, you have to highlight all of everything. And now you can clearly tell it's, this face is thicker. But in that error that Bender gave me when I made my mesh, I could not tell the face was thick. It's only thick because I deliberately hit Shift D or Alt D to make duplicates. But I'm going to show you how to get rid of it. I went up there to mesh. You have to say clean up meshes and you have to choose merge by distance. And when I did that, when I when I merged by distance, everything joined together. Watch, I'm hit X and you see it was gone. So my thing is before I leave there, people, if you have a stubborn mesh that will not delete a vertex. It will not delete an edge. It will not delete that face. Like, right, let me do it again. It will not delete that face. I'm hit X. See, it will not delete that face. What you have to do, hit A to select everything. Go up there to mesh. Clean up and choose merge by distance now that really makes more sense than uh, merge by vertices because it's taking the distance of those faces on top of each other and it's merging them to make one face and that helped me immensely merge by distance now I click back on his face now it's gone so that's my little tip good people if you have faces vertices or meshes that do not disappear that may mean the application has placed several vertices edges or mesh on top of that one what you have to do go up to mesh clean up and click on merge by distance and as i discovered it got rid of it now in my arsenal of merging or clean up meshes. It's two things I need. It helps me in two ways now. It helps me to remove extra vertices, faces when I'm making my armature. And it helps me to delete those faces, edges, and vertices that the 3D application has created. So I hope this little tip was a great help to you. If you like this little tip, because I'm sure we all have to cover it. When you make something complex, we all have met that problem. Face, faces that will not disappear. 
Now you know what to do. Merge them. Then it should disappear. If you like my little tip, give me a thumbs up. If you have a comment or how you get rid of those all um, annoying duplicates that the 3D application created without your knowledge, let me know. If you would like to subscribe to hear me talk about other things that involve Blender or the 3D world, because you know, when it comes to modeling, they basically all do the same thing. There's no difference. Subscribe to my channel. Until the next time, dear listener, keep enjoying your 3D creations, keep learning, and keep staying strong. Till the next time, peace.